insane movement options. And speaking of insane movement options, you know, whenever you see Kage go at it, he is quite fast. Oh, is, are these guys going at They're it already? starting right away. Here we go. And it looks like right here, Android letting us know that not only could he tech chase Captain Falcon, he could also tech chase Ganondorf. But here comes Kage's punish game. Yep. Oh, slight DI possibly allowing Android to get out of there. Ooh, that reverse jab to the face. Ganon's jab definitely packs a punch. I would never take one of those. Oh, man. And here we go. Kage actually using the F tilt in a really wise manner. Android, the tournament winner leading to a fist to the... Man, that, that, that poor guy. Yeah. Losing that first stock. Uh-oh. It's uh -oh. not over yet. Oh, and those changes cannot be escaped. There's going to be a follow-up. Oh, I, yeah. Coming at his curse, I guess. Dude, I thought we were about to see, like, run off up here, knowing how up air comes out really quick yep. for Ganondorf. That's exactly what uh, my thought. But yeah, man, looking at some of Sheik's aerials, right? The fair and the up air, definitely not the same. No, definitely not compared to the NTSC version. Mm -hmm. Then again, Kage sporting his uh, pal Ganondorf as well. Uh, not packing quite the punch that the forward aerial does in the NTSC version. But it looks like he's not even worried about that. Those slick movements using the F-Tilt in such an amazing manner. Are we going to see Zelda? Oh, Android just explodes right there on the right blast zone. Yeah, full stock lead for Kage the Warrior right now. I think Android uh, still has to adjust to that matchup in general. Uh, while Kage has played possibly hundreds of Sheiks over his, cor uh, over his Smash career, right? Definitely. Let's, let, let's see what's going to happen here, though. I mean, I feel like Android definitely had a lot of opportunities to visit the States and, uh, you know, play, play Ganondorf's, but, you know, probably not as much as he, as Kage plays Sheik. And look at the yeah. tech chases right now by Kage. And you saw Kage, he actually whiffed that first fair just for a setup. Run off up here right here, and Android down, too. Wow. And you know this this is Ganondorf, and it's a relatively large um, blast zone on that on that stage. So 108 is not necessarily kill percent for Ganondorf. Dude, they actually have people in the crowd right now doing Ganondorf's chant. I actually think that is one of the worst chants in the game. <laughs> yeah. But the people are making it hype. They're doing the the in-game Ganondorf chant, which is really really odd to hear. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's kind of ominous. <laughs> yeah, it is. You know, hearing Roy's our boy, possibly uh, every time you see a good Roy on stream, it's gonna happen. Yes. Oh, and this is going to be the match, isn't it? Oh, Ooh. no. Kage not finishing off the edge guard, giving Android the room to go to the ledge with his up B in a really, really convoluted manner from below the stage. Oh, man. 99 right now on Android. Let's see. That's a hard read right there on that up smash. It got him the damage, the pop-up, but Kage, man. That up air definitely gave him another shot at life and a second to last suck. And Android, oh, and this is not going to be... Um, it's not going to be easy. I'll it's tell you not that. Be easy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Look at this. We look like Kage, you know, was probably out of the woods for game one, but Android is turning it up right now. You saw the DI in from Kage, and Android was like, oh, you, you, you're really going to do this? I'm going to jab you. But there's the dare. Kage taking the first game. Wow. Uh, one little thing that Android did in the end there when Kage was trying to get a grab, Android actually ducked underneath Ganondorf's uh, grab range. So uh, this is something, I don't know if, uh, if Android knew about this beforehand, but he definitely knows now that he can dodge Ganondorf's grab. And those grabs can lead to some devastating uh, combos, right? So definitely good to know for Android. Possibly he's going uh, to adapt to uh, Kage really wanting to get that grab in the future. Oh, yeah. The only way that Kage will be able to confidently get a grab is if he reads Android going for a shield. And right now, Android actually lowering his profile to avoid even the forward tilt, which means Kage's going to have to angle that low. All right. Kage already on the ledge. This counter pick, uh, what do you think of it? No platforms? Right now, the, the Android's counter pick. Um, let's see. Um, Android... Possibly going for this after seeing how slick Kage may be on the platforms. Maybe wants to take away some of his like, um, some of his like tricky, tricky approaches. Yeah. Right. He goes for like these instant wave lands uh, into like runoff fair. Right now, Kage. I mean, uh, Android probably just wants to see how the match would be if it's straight up. Yeah. Then again, on this stage, uh, the downside for Sheik on that stage definitely is that uh, if Kage gets a grab, she has nowhere to escape, right? Oh, yeah, no platforms to the eye, too. Yeah, yeah, this is a risk for, for Android. But, I mean, you already noticed that he does have the crouch. The crouch may allow him to avoid some stuff. But, I mean, Kage could convert off of a down air. Yo. You can't crouch a down air. Oh, 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 oh Kage. 
And the crowd, the Ganondorf chanting uh, crowd, is now uh, going for the ace on the on the down throws of uh, Ganondorf. Chain throw is definitely a thing in that matchup. Wow, and right here, I mean, the reason, one of the reasons why you see people cheering for him is because, remember, Kage is the guest here, right? The guest of honor. He made it to the top eight, so right now, they want to see some stuff. Uh-oh. Android wise choice, they're waiting for Kage to make his move uh, on the on the guest, on the tech chase, and then this could be the stock. What a wild move right there by Kage, but I mean, that, that's, that, that is what Kage is. He's a warrior, man. He writes his own book. Speaking of books, have you ever seen his posts on Smashboards, man? Yeah, for sure. I was <laughs> referencing them earlier today, actually. Oh, man. Ooh. No double jump right there for Android. He only has up B, and Kage has to just grab edge. There it is! Kage up one stock of, uh, uh, over Android on Android's counterpick. Second game in that top eight. And mind you, this is still losers. Oh, no. Ooh, this is going to lead to some devastating chain grabs again. But Android manages to make his way out again. Kage is so brave. Caught Kage slipping, being a little bit too greedy on the edge guard there. And Android still on the... Oh, my Ooh. goodness. Android is moving. There was such quick reactions to whatever Kage was trying to do. But Kage made his way back into the stage with Android messing it up a, just a slight bit. Oh, Android is getting a little bit too hungry right now. This might actually hurt him. But wait, wait. He grabs the wizard foot. Man. Trying to fight out his way out of the corner. There's the fair. Okay, now it looks like Kage is probably trying to end it by going for the back air, knowing that it has better knockback. Good by Android. I thought he was going to go for maybe a ledge hop aerial. Realized that Kage could not get above. Now Kage has to just hold this down. He needs a wall. Yeah. Let's see. And, you know, that back aerial of Ganondorf definitely provides the wall that he needs to keep Android out. I wonder if... Do you think Android should have probably have DI'd forward so that Kage would have to instead go for a fair? Yeah, that would have been better, but I think it would have still still killed. KO'd? Okay. Yeah. I think Man. it's not that weak. It's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's nerfed, but not that much. Not too sure, though. I think there, there might be some melee uh, engineers out there who could tell me otherwise if I'm wrong, but yeah, I well, think he was dead anyway. Yeah. One of the reasons why I asked too was because since he was all the way on the right side of FD, yeah. I would think that maybe he had a lot of room to possibly, you know, until the, till the acceleration on the knockback of the move, like, uh, depleted, then maybe he could have uh, stayed alive. But we'll see. Anyway, whoa, the man was standing. Was He He was probably holding down. He was yeah. probably holding down. Yeah. If you crouch cancel uh, again and stomp with most characters, they just uh, st keep standing in, on the zero to low percentage. Yeah. I always get upset whenever I see a wizard's foot hit somebody, by the way. Cow! Wow! Oh, wow. really good DI by Android, though. Oh, and that back here is going to catch the tournament winner once again. Kage up a full stock, sitting comfortably on 47%, which is not too much. But then again, Kage... Uh, Kage. <laughs> I was about to call Ganondorf Kage. Uh, Ganondorf is such a force of nature, right? Oh, yeah. But also a huge walking target. So, if Android manages to get a punish, you know, it's quite easy to hit him. Oh, right there, Kage looked like he could have potentially used the up air to make it difficult for Android to come back on stage. Uh, set up. Should throw him off stage. There it is. Smart move right there by Android. And we're gonna... Is that it? Wow! wow. That was so delayed, dude. Everybody was quiet in the crowd. They're like, uh... <laughs> He's up, up, and actually away. Good stuff right there by Android. He's trying to stay in the game. That was definitely surgical precision on that uh, on that up smash right there by Android. Uh huh. Can't even grab edge in time. Ganondorf way too slow. Oh, the crouch. So he could avoid the four tilt if it's not angled downward and the jab along and with the, the grab. grab. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Nuts. Crouching Sheik has a lot of tools to deal with Ganondorf's uh, defensive options there oh. and offensive options. And right there, we actually see Android. He's getting a little bit too ahead of himself with these uh, edge guards, man. Yeah. He, he, knows, he knows this is his last game potentially in this tournament. He has to make something happen. He has to show us that the magic, you know, is, is yeah. the last uh, the last stand for him. And, and, you know, it can be quite rough too, you know, knowing that there's a lot of pressure on you with a lot of eyes watching here. Um, hopefully he can be able to at least bring it close. Nobody wants to see a blowout. They always want to see a nice clean match between two skilled players. 
Yeah, definitely. Uh -oh. Wow! Ooh. Wow! Kage dropping all the way down there with a fast fall back aerial to catch Android trying to recover from way below. Again, on the punish, 90% out of nowhere because Ganondorf, as we said, such a huge walking target, still going on the punish. Now Kage found, found his footing again, is in center stage, rolled right in there and gets an opening. Ooh, gets the forward throw instead. I guess that might have been a missed input there by Kage. Oh, look at these downers again. I mean, these um, crouches again right there from Android. Wow. Shohap, Shohap Fair actually working out for him right there. Yeah. You know, he does have the tools to deal with this character in neutral, so. Definitely. So now it's basically even. Ooh, not getting the read right there. Kage not teching. Smart. You see Android, he's, he's shielding now, trying to play a little patient, wait for Kage to go for the wrong move. Oh, but is it too little too late, Mr. Love? It possibly is. Well, oh yeah, that that oh, that was close actually. Android trying to come down with a down aerial, never a good look on uh, Sheik because, oh yeah, that's gonna be it. Ganondorf with the power of the Triforce of Power beats Sheik slash Zelda and Kage makes his way into top six. And the Ganondorf chant is strong right now in the crowd. Kage is enjoying himself. Did you see that? In real life, he actually did uh, Ganondorf's victory pose, it seems. You know, with the fist. <laughs> so he's like, ah. <laughs> That was.